Listen, that's for, you know, um, it's great to hear that because what I, you know, what I try to tell people is stay interested because it's very easy for a small business to get discouraged. They go, well, I went to this vendor fair, nothing happened. I went, talked to the Austin booth, nothing happened. They gave me a bunch of papers to fill out and they gave, you know, they sent me in different directions. And a lot of people, um, at least starting out in the beginning, I see get discouraged really early on. Listen, I was at it, I swear to God, like 15 years before I saw anything happen. And I, you know, you just can't give up. I just figured it'll happen one day. I mean, you do start to get discouraged and you spend a lot of money. Right. And you're when is this going to have a return? I mean, right. in fact, I was in the 8A program for eight years before I ever got an 8A contract. And I remember going to, to a meeting with the PTAC, you know, the Procurement yep. Technical Assistance uh-huh. Center. And I think it's important to do those kinds of things. Like maybe I didn't do enough of it. So I would encourage new, you know, um, younger businesses to definitely avail yourself of every resource. There's a lot of free resources through the SBA and the PTAX, one of them, MBDA as well, the Minority Business Development Agency. You can tell quite quickly who in those agencies and which Osdeboos actually care about the mission and would help you. Right. And you can tell which ones don't care. So don't waste your time with the ones that don't care because they will waste a whole lot of time. Uh, no, that's, that's a good. That's a good strategy. That's a. So you got to like find the ones that really care, and then latch onto those people, and they will help you. They really will. Yeah. And and it's a handful of people. It's not a lot. Of no, people. no, it's not. No, you're right. You're right. I went through a list of like you know 25 companies, and then like you said, two or three people really showed an interest, and they said, okay, we're going to make something happen for you. Uh, and this is this is a true funny story. The PTAC guy sat me down and I took notes for an hour and I had another guy from my office too with me, a, a marketing guy. And the two of us just took notes from, like crazy for an hour. And I said to him, look, his name was Bob. Bob, I have been in this program for eight years. I have to pay an auditor every year. It's costing me like 10 grand a year to stay in the program. It's 80 grand I've spent to date to stay in this program and I have gotten nothing for it. So I'm really frustrated and, you know, I get totally get the frustration right. that that businesses experience because I've been there. Oh, yeah. And I said to the guy, "I'm please, I'm begging you. Tell me what am I doing wrong? How do I get these sole source eight A contracts? Like, what is the deal? What's the secret sauce?" Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "You have to team with graduated eight A's that are the favorites." And nobody ever tells you this stuff. No. Ever. No. And I remember thinking, well, how, who's going to tell me that? I don't know who the favorites are. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to tell you. And he did. He gave me four names that day uh-huh. whom I called that evening and the next day. And by the, the, the day after that, I had sole source eight contracts. No. I swear to God. No way. That quick. And now they were small. They were small. And these people who were, had been uh, graduated eight A's were my subs. And I went in as prime and they were my sub and I had to self-perform a piece of the work, you know, a percentage, but they got, you know, a, a large percentage, like as much as 80%. Right, right, right. Depending on what the self-performance requirement was. But um, yeah, like it was that quick. I think, I think that that was worth the whole call today. <laughs> yeah. You know? And that's what I tell people who get eight A's because they're all frustrated. They don't, and by the way, I re- heard a crazy statistic, like 98% of eight A's. Contractors never get an 8A contract, which is pitiful. You know, I, I, you know, I heard it was above 80. I didn't know the exact number, but I knew it was above 80. Now, these, these, we're going to call them favorites. The, the graduated 8A companies that got a lot of work. I mean, they're not going to necessarily team with you just because you called them. So I'm, I, you know, made an effort. I went to see them face to face. Right. Told you know how, um, what our qualifications were, and really sold them on using us and teaming with us. And apparently they were convinced. And so they said, okay, okay, we'll team with you. Wow. Um, but like, like it was a matter of days. Yeah. And so I tell all my 8A friends in the 8A program, like, don't waste eight years like I did. 